Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a live series that we're going through on Java, and this is lesson one. And when we're done with this series, we'll start the lesson two. When there's questions from the student, you will not be able to hear them, but I actually will be typing those in the screen. And so go ahead and read those, and that will be the context of what I'm answering. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. No, I'm not. Actually, what we're doing, we're recording live today. What do you think about that? So I'm going to be recording all our sessions now. And so what I've done is that what Bucky will do for you is give you all the easy stuff, all the preliminary stuff that you've already done before. And so you don't have to uh, uh, worry about us covering that. And then, then what we're going to do is uh, work with my videos. So let me explain this one second. I'm going to put in a headset here one second. The whole deal here with this course is um, it's going to be uh, a little different than what we did in the past where basically I just did tutorials all the way through and uh, you kind of absorbed initial programming. You actually have got enough programming skills now that we can bring you along and move a little bit faster, okay? And so what we're doing here is we're actually pulling in external resources to make up anything that you might be missing and actually doing it almost like a real class. As a matter of fact, we are doing it like a real class you might get at a college, for example, like MIT. And so we have all of MIT slides that you're going to be actually going through for their Java course. And with that, I've actually put additional uh, Bucky videos, which are helpful. So, for example, if you missed anything or if it went too fast, Bucky basically goes through step by step. You don't get the MIT uh, edge that you would get from Bucky. But it's the most excellent, I think, Java tutorial I've seen on YouTube. does a super job. This is just nine. I think he has like 80 or something like that on the web. Uh, just a programmer out there throwing his stuff on the web. And, you know, they make money because these are like informa informational sites. And that's m many, many ways money is made now, is, is they're not selling the information because there's so much free information out there, but what they're actually doing is they're uh, having people come to the website. Uh, they're so interested in the information, but also they have a few banners on there that they might click on, and they can make money on clicks, for example. But he's really popular. I mean, his, he gets thousands and thousands of views, much more than me. makes me very sad, but... <laughs> You know, it's quality work, and I really appreciate people that do that. So anyway, he, so here's nine right here for you to see, and you'll pick up a lot from those. You want to work through his examples. I also have examples of my own that I'll be giving you, and we'll be going through the MIT slides. Just like a real course. I'm actually better than MIT because you're actually going to get uh, just tons of information, you know, that, that you wouldn't get otherwise. So no, I'm not farming you out. Don't worry about that. But I am uh, coming along here and giving you a lot of good stuff. Now, I do already have a video on the web, Java 1. And uh, what we're doing today is going to be recorded live. Okay, So people won't be able to hear you because I'm on the phone, but they'll hear me. Okay, So this whole session will be up on YouTube. And uh, I'll be answering your questions as you move along. Okay, So uh, this is just the start of Java. We're going to do an intro to Java first. All right. Then we're going to move on to the, the more important stuff. It's going to get more deeper. So we have a long ways to go, and uh, you're going to really enjoy this course. Java is the number one computer programming language in the world, and it is being heavily developed in India. So I'm going to tell you. And with that, also, Indians are flex, flash builder crazy. They love it. Okay. Now, why is that? And the reason being is that Java and Flash have two things in common. And that is they are cross-platform. So once you write a program, it'll work on a Mac, it'll work on Linux, and it'll work on uh, basically Windows, anywhere. So it's, it, And not only that, yeah, so that's the power. And people should have got that in the 90s when they started doing this stuff. Hey, this cross-platform stuff, I mean, this is where it's going to go. And not only that, Java also lives on a lot of different things. I, I'll bring this little clip up here. You actually can find Java everywhere. I mean, uh, Blu-ray, uh, videos, websites, and most importantly, embedded devices. You see that device right there? And so, I mean, it's just everywhere. And so it, it is like the number one language. You're learning the right language. And once you've, you've already had PHP, and once you learn Java, hey, phew, I mean, the sky's the limit. Now, I see you love Photoshop, which is very important when it comes to building websites. They get that skill under your belt. So, I mean, you're, you're headed the right direction. And I foresee somewhere in the future there may be a Photoshop course coming along here. Okay, so anyway, let's keep on going here. So just in this short course, you're going to have introduction uh, types, variables. Uh, you're going to do conditionals. You've already seen all that before. Loops and arrays, you've seen that before. Objects and classes, you've seen all those. Access control, class scope, packages, Java API. That will be new right there, the Java API. 
des design, debugging interfaces, you've already done all that. And we're going to be programming everything in what? Eclipse. So everything's done in Eclipse. And of course, you know I am a, a Flash Builder nut. So you know you, it's great just to work in the same environment over and over again. Here are some terms that you need to become familiar with. API, you've probably heard that before. A application uh, programming interface. I.O., input output. And UI, which is user interface. Many, many years ago, when I started Java, I had this Java book I was learning from, and it had the word UI in there and used it over and over and over again. And this is just when Java started getting started, getting started and we all started to think about object-oriented programming. And it never defined what UI was. I went, oh, I was so angry. I spent, you know, like hours and hours trying to find out what UI meant. And it had user interface, oh, God. What an idiot I was. But that was years ago. And so since then, Java has changed a lot. Uh, the whole idea of object-oriented programming has become very popular. As a matter of fact, Java is completely object-oriented. It's built completely on classes. So the class structure that we introduced to you in PHP, you will use heavily in Java. That's all you use. And you'll start that today, and you'll start building your classes. So that's a short introduction to Java. And you should download the MIT course. I don't know if you've done that yet. On how to do that? OK, it's very easy. See this link right here in the, in the notes? All you do is click on it. Let me do that. And it'll take you right to the site. OK. So once you click on that link, just click on Download Course. That's going to download the entire course to your desktop. Or no, actually to your, it'll download the zip file. Then you want to unzip the zip file. So go ahead and do that now. Sure, go ahead and ask questions. No, go ahead. I mean, the, the audience can't hear it, and, but I can just talk about your questions. I was going to go on YouTube. Uh, just so it make it faster for me. I'm lazy. So all the videos will be there. Everything we go through, because what it is is different. Uh, we're going actually going through a course. So I have a slide set we're going to go through. I'm going to talk about it, and I'll edit everything, and then we'll throw it up. And then since we're doing it live, it's more rich, and uh, it'll, it, it'll be a little bit more entertaining, I think. Now, when you unzip it, what's going to happen is you're going to get a folder. You're going to unzip it, and then I believe it's uh, right here, this one that's 10. You just click in the folder, and there's a, see this little start right here? Click on that start, and up comes the course. There's the course right there. It looks just like their page, but it's actually on your C drive right here, so it's there. And then you can go to Lecture Notes, and you can click on the PDF. That's the Lecture Notes. And that's what we'll be going through today. And we'll go back one. And then there's uh, Assignments, which has the assignment and also the Java code. OK, so let's go ahead and open up the, P uh, the PDF, and we can actually start going through the course. And I'm going to bring the screen recorder and get that adjusted so I can get the whole course in there. And so uh, welcome to MIT and uh, to Introduction to Java. This is actually a course that they teach in their, uh, in their curriculum. And we're actually going to be going through this. And I have examples that I've created. And we'll be going through those examples in Eclipse. Now, one of the other things you're going to want to do for me, of course, is uh, download Eclipse, right? And uh, do, you, do you know how to do that? You want to go download the Java PHP. And I'll tell you why, because it's just a little bit different. So we're going to start up here, and let me go ahead and bring the slides back up so we can get going. OK. And I think you're going to love this. And also, I think you're going to love Photoshop. So all this is going to be pulled in together because you're going to need Photoshop as you build web pages and all the, and in your design. It's just a total, total important way to go. So all this stuff fits together. Now, let me tell you what the biggest problem with Java is. I'll just tell you right off. Java is a great language. Uh, the biggest problem with Java is you've got to learn a lot of it before you can really do anything. Okay, because if you, and that's the difference between Java and, and Flash. Which Flash is you can immediately start dragging stuff in, bringing in images, creating some dynamic uh, animations and uh, platform delivery, and didn't really have to do a whole lot of programming to get there. In order to do the same thing with Java, you've got to do a lot more work. So you have to learn a lot more. Now the good thing is Java's been so much development on Java is that you can now go and build or pull in classes that are, are have already been developed and use those classes to do a lot of stuff already made. But you've got to know how to do that. You've got to know how to work with those classes, and we'll start importing classes today, OK? So we're going to start with type, variables, and operators. And let's go to the next slide. Welcome to MIT. And so you know, he's saying what I just said in a different way. Learn enough Java to do something useful, which means, hey, you've got to learn a lot of Java. But you know, with your background in PHP now, it's going to be a lot easier for you. So I'm not too scared about that. I have no doubt that you're going to have no problems picking all this up. Okay, so we're going to start with a computer and how a computer's made. And so basically, uh, it's, here's a real simple diagram. There's three parts of it, a central processing unit, which often called CPU, an input-output device, like a keyboard, for example, and the memory. 
Now, CPUs have something called, inside of them called an ALU. You ever heard that term before? ALU means is a, a, a arithmetic logic unit. And what it does, it actually does all your arithmetic. It adds things, it subtracts things, uh, it does all the, uh, the complexity of that, that stuff. And it's actually made of, of chips. There's something called in, in computers called summing chips that sum things together. There's half adders and full adders, and it all works with zeros and ones. Okay? And the way that works is it pretty much will take a value in memory and look at another value in memory, pull those two down, add them together, and then put it into a third place in memory, and that's your solution. So if you go to the next slide, he's actually kind of saying that. If you have CPU instructions and you want to add two numbers together, you must read one from one place in memory, one from another place in memory, add them together, and write that into another place in memory. Now, in order to do that, you use something called machine language. And when I was in school, I took assembly. It was the worst experience of my life.